Security Gateway can be configured to protect multiple mail servers. So in this lesson, I'll show you how to add a mail server in Security Gateway. We'll first need to go to the Setup Users menu right here. And then under the Mail Configuration section, you'll see Domain Mail Servers. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, my Security Gateway is already configured to protect these two mail servers here. So we'll click on the New button to add another mail server. And then we'll give it a description. And then you'll want to enter the host name or IP address of the new mail server. And then the port that that particular mail server is listening on for SMTP traffic. Now recall when we were talking about deployment considerations, we were uh, talking about whether to install Security Gateway on its own dedicated machine or on the mail server itself. So if Security Gateway is installed on the mail server itself and you have the mail server listening in for traffic on port 26, then you would need to be sure to specify port 26 here when you're setting up that mail server. If that mail server requires authentication, then simply check this box and enter the authentication credentials accordingly. And then on the bottom, you can select which domains will be using this mail server. If Security Gateway receives an email for a domain that has not been assigned a mail server, then the default mail server will be used. So you, you can either specify which domain will be using this mail server by clicking on it and then selecting the arrow at the bottom to move it over to the selected domains column. Or if you don't want to assign a domain to this particular mail server, you can check this box to designate this as a default mail server. Now, in another lesson, we'll talk about how to get additional domains and users added to Security Gateway. Once you've filled in the required information, simply click on Save and Close to save your new mail server.